All right, guys. As you guys can see, we have another unboxing. Can you guys guess what it is? I know you probably can. All right, guys. Quick shout out to Algae Barn. Algae Barn actually wanted to help support me and this bill. They wanted to show their um, support by sending me a box of their live animals and things to help my system. As a lot of you guys know, my system is brand new. It's a very sterile system. It has no kind of bugs in it at all. Being, you know, your different trigger pods, cocoa pods, whatever the case may be, it has nothing in it. Things that's actually going to help my aquarium uh, thrive. So let's get in here, open this up, and see what Algae Barn actually sent me. Alright guys, got pods, and who doesn't like candy guys, sweetest fish are the best. This is packaged very well, by the way. Oh, looky there. So I got clean Chato for my aquarium. They sent me a bag of clean Chato. Let's set that right there. Okay. Look at the live phytoplankton here. Big bag of phytoplankton as well. That, that's a big one. They sent me Turbo Star. Now, a lot of you guys was wondering, I did use Dr. Tim's in the last video. If you guys didn't see it, make sure you guys get over there when I was talking about the protein skimmer, whether it should be on during your cycle or not. Um, there's a lot of stuff that I'm going to be adding for is bacterias. I think using a variety and wide range of different bacterias in, in the aquarium actually may help. Do I know for sure? No. I don't know if one person's better than the next, but you also don't know what bacteria may be missing from somebody else. For me, I like to keep things a variety of things, like I do with fish foods and all kinds of stuff. I'm not just solely on one person's product, okay? Oh, look at all these little pods, man. I don't know if you guys are going to pick up on that to see pods. Let me see. Let me, uh, really close and tried to type okay I'm sure you guys can see the pods in there moving and swimming look at that all right guys so we have that we also have another one we have another jar from them and another jar from them so we ended up with um, four 16-ounce jars. Obviously, my aquarium's quite large, um, so that's what they wanted to. Uh, felt that I needed for my aquarium, and I truly, once again, appreciate it. They also sent uh, marine pure uh, blocks or square blocks. Um, for the system as well. There's one, two, three, four, five. Five of those. This is awesome. So, you know, it gives the um, Pods, places to go in, cracks and crevices. Also, it's going to help with your nutrients and stuff like that. Give uh, more surface edge, uh, area for beneficial bacteria. Obviously, they sent the Fritz Turbo Start uh, Saltwater 900. 
I've heard great things about this as well, guys. Um, and also with that being said, I did start off with Dr. Tim's. I will be adding several different other strands of bacteria. My thoughts and my opinions on it is, I'm not sure if one bacteria has certain things over another, and I love biodiversity. As you guys know, my system is a sterile system, okay? I need biodiversity. I don't, I'm not putting in live rock to get things. I'm doing this simply because a lot of people said that they had problems with using dry rock and all this other stuff. I want to know what problems they're actually having, and I want to follow them down the same road in that journey, unlike I've never done this. Actually, in the past, I've always used live rock. Now, a lot of things to come with, with live rock. Yes, there are some bad things you do not want in your system. Algae Barn's actually doing something about that, helping you be able to get pods within your aquarium and different strands of different pods in your aquarium to help with your biodiversity within the aquarium. So if you like to have to get your own pods and you know you have a great system that you're getting ready to set up and you want a package, they have several different packages that they put together for the aquarium hobbyists. So I'll leave a link to their website down in the description down below. But I have to get these things into the aquarium. I need to acclimate them, get the temperature up, how to add them, and all that. I need to get it into my aquarium as soon as possible. Get these pods poured into this aquarium. You can't beat diversity. These are things that essentially I feel you need in the aquarium to help you establish a great biodiversity. Hopefully I'm not too far in the camera. I really want to catch that. These guys are really kicking, guys. These guys are kicking. And you really have to get up on it, man, but there's a lot of, uh, if you got good eyes, you can really see, you see the bigger ones, but you can see really small specks actually moving as well. I don't want to leave any, oh, these are really sealed too. Well, I don't want anything on top of the lid, just in case. Give it a rinse. We want all the pods And I'm just introducing a little bit of the water. You don't have to do that. Um, I did. It just uh, to add a little bit to theirs, just to see what they're going to do as far as response. Oh, I could. These things are coming alive. It's really cool, guys, to see these things actually do what they're going to do. All right, guys, let's uh, go ahead and pour. Give them time to settle. Give the jar a nice couple cleaning. Make sure we get all those pods. We want those pods. We want them. I wish I could get a close-up of what they're looking like in the aquarium, but they're really, really small. Really small. So I'm going to put three jars in this aquarium here. Um, and I'm going to take the last jar and stick it in the sump area. With, you know, so they can attach to those rocks and do their thing down below. said I like to just in case something's attached to the lid give it a little shake add a little bit of uh, my water to it and 
kicks up everything and you can really see all the little pods. Yeah, and there's all different sizes in here. Now, like I said, I believe in a great biodiversity. I think this is a new way of um, going to be somewhat of the new way of reefing, dry rock, nothing, very sterile environment. So how are you going to introduce these things to a system that you no longer have access to in the aquarium world or industry? Um, Algae Barns, obviously, one of those places you're going to have to go to if you want reef um, bugs in your aquarium. You got to understand what these guys are capable of doing. They're going to feed your fish. They're also going to feed on detritus, um, uh, uneaten foods, waste, algae, all of that stuff. Now, I don't know how that sounds to you, but to me, that sounds like a very great thing to have that's going to um, help you all the way around with your aquarium. There is so many. And some of these times, sometimes guys, you might see a little bit more in one than the other. It's probably just because of the size. There's a couple more bigger ones or more bigger ones than really fine, fine ones. But if you look real hard and stare at the little white specks that looks like detritus and stuff like that, you will see some of them actually moving. So, let's get this going. All right, guys, that's that. We have one more, and we're gonna add that bad boy into the sump area. Now that we're here, there's, um, the filter sock, our filter socks are out. Let's get rid of this. If you guys are wondering why this is here, I haven't talked about it yet. Just trying to keep down on um, evaporation is what I'm trying to do. So we have this section here. We're going to add these guys to this water here. I like to do this and be able to see the guys do their thing. And I also want to put these guys all over. All right, guys, there's a tank. We added one, two, three, four. 16 ounce jars of the 5280 pods into three of them into here and obviously one into the sump. Now for you guys that actually have used Algae Barn, leave me uh, a comment down below in the comment section. Let me know your guys' experience with using this company. So the video is long enough guys. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Let me know your thoughts on Algae Barn.